In this short video course, we're going to explore whether FileMaker is the right platform for you and your organization. Now, as you go through the process of evaluating the FileMaker platform to see if it's right for you, I strongly recommend that you take a look at the rest of the videos in this short course. This course is designed specifically to answer questions that you're going to have about what the FileMaker platform can do. Along the way, we're going to start to show you kind of how to do some of those things. But largely, this set of videos is designed to educate you on the overall capabilities. Now, also keep in mind that we have daily live training sessions at 1 o'clock Pacific time. And these live training sessions will cover basic and beginning topics on the FileMaker platform. Additionally, there will be plenty of time for Q&A. So if you're watching these videos and evaluating the platform and you want to ask a question to a live person, well, you can do that by visiting our live stream broadcast, which is available here on a link. So what are some quick tips that will help guide you in evaluating this platform and if it's right for your organization? Well, first off, my personal experience is that as I talk to organizations, both business, educational, nonprofit, the FileMaker platform is a good fit for a vast majority of these organizations. However, it's not a perfect fit for everyone. And one of the most important things that I value in my organization are happy customers. I want to make sure that if you pick the FileMaker platform, that you're going to be a happy person in six months or 12 months or in five years. Because really, the people who get in and use the FileMaker platform will save a ton of time and money, and they will continue to use this platform for many years to come. So, of course, that brings up one of the most important topics in the evaluation process is the return on investment or the justification. So as you're watching these videos, it's helpful to have an idea of the pain points that you are running into in your organization. What is the work rut that we talked about? Are you stuck doing a certain process over and over every day? What processes can you automate or optimize that would greatly improve your life? Now, of course, I say your life very simplistically, but that results in time savings during the day. Maybe you're going to work the same amount of time, but you're going to get twice as much work done. Or maybe you're going to work a eight-hour day instead of a 12-hour day, in which case your happiness level goes way up. You're going to have to figure out what your ROI looks like. For example, a true story and a very common story, customer in Texas works with one of my FileMaker developers, and they determine that they're using some very old technology, and they have a huge field team. And when I say a huge field team, I'm talking about people that are deployed out into the field. In this case, they are repairing vehicles, kind of a specialty vehicle repair business. And they go to car dealerships doing specialized repairs on cars that are damaged. Of course, this process involves them providing an estimate to the dealership, the dealership approving it, the work being done, and then the back office staff billing the dealership. And they literally have 30, 40, 50, 100 of these people running around in North America. Well, they determined that each of these people would waste one to two hours every week, if not an hour a day, doing the back-end paperwork because either they were using this old technology that wasn't very good, or some of them kind of said, screw the technology, I'm just going to use paper because it seems to work better than this old ancient stuff from 20 years ago. So at the end of the day or the end of the week, there's this period where they have to catch up on paperwork. Well, what we did is we worked with them, we identified this problem, we built an app that runs on a tablet computer out in the field, in this case it was an iPad, and as these field personnel did their job, they would interact with the iPad and enter the information kind of along the way during the course of their job. So when it got to the end of the day at three or four o'clock when they would normally knock off, they actually could do another hour of work. And so the company figured out at the end of the day that they were saving a ton of money like in the neighborhood of $30,000 a month kind of ton of money. So this company actually ended up doing $30,000 more work per month. And of course, then they looked at their investment in FileMaker. Now they needed FileMaker for like 100 people and they had to work on getting a customized application tuned for their particular needs. And so when it was all said and done, they had actually invested on the front end $30,000, $40,000. They made that up in like two months. And after that, it was all quote unquote free money. So that's a really good example of an ROI. So you need to think about in your case, 
what are your friction points? What are the parts of the job with you or your team where it's not smooth? It's kind of, you know, friction. It's, it's tough. It's hard. It's like sandpaper. Things aren't smooth and silky. What parts of the job do you dislike? Because you might be able to automate those with a good custom application. So a big part of this evaluation process is you understanding, maybe even writing down some of your friction points, watching the training that we have in this specific course, as well as attending some of our free live training sessions, which are fairly short. And in those, you can ask myself or one of my staff questions about the FileMaker platform. Can FileMaker do this? Can FileMaker do this? What are your needs? You just type them in and we will respond to you on video in real time. So these are my hot tips for evaluating the FileMaker platform. Thank you.